here's the little clock. Let me turn it off and back on again. It comes up with a screen that says diagnostic mode. Then it comes up with a flash screen. And then it goes, and it's just dumb and happy right now. It's accumulating time since I pushed the menu button. Here's the GPS receiver. This indicates data being sent to the clock. And this is a one second time pulse generated by the GPS. Now, this thing is intended to be used both with and without the GPS. It is a standalone clock, and that's the default program setting standalone clock. Now I have to, to uh, change the programming a little bit to recognize and communicate with the GPS. I followed the instructions in the uh, GPS operations manual and here we go. Uh, it took a little while, you see, to, to get this information displayed. This is the heartbeat symbol. This is a date. And this is a time in uh, GMT. Or Universal Coordinated Time. Paging through the programming menu, you want to get to the GPS mode this screen here and this number needs to be probably a 2. A 2 entered in the first position means the kit tr triggers on a rising edge of a hundred millisecond GPS signal. This is the only number that needs changed. It needs changed from a 0 to a 2. The baud rate is correct and all the rest of the default settings are correct. I don't know how this is going to show up on the screen but the first character is an A which means the GPS signal is valid. The 3D means that uh, it describes a type of GPS fix which is either 2D or 3D. This indicates the number of satellites used. I see. I've lost my GPS when I turned it vertically. This is the number of uh, satellites being tracked. And this is the signal to noise ratio. Okay, it's come back now. You see it's tracking, it's uh, using four satellites, it's tracking five, and the signal to noise ratio is 17. It's got a heartbeat and it has a, a validity. Now, that's because I moved the GPS antenna around. I can get these numbers. See, uh, now we're tr using five tr satellites, tracking six and have a signal to noise ratio of 21. The next thing I want to do, what I plan on doing is mounting this GPS receiver under, underneath this, the lid of this case. I'll stand it down below the surface of the case just enough to clear these solder joints. I'll take out the LEDs. That will put the top of the antenna flush with, or maybe above the case, probably flush. In order to do that, I've taken the dimensions of this circuit board. I haven't checked it yet. 
so that looks fine I've taken this template and I'll place it here I'll square this up and put it on the center line I center punch these four mounting holes and this which turns out although everything's metric this hole which I scaled from the center of the antenna to the edges of the board is uh, two and a half inches. At this point I drilled the four mounting holes and I used the hole saw to cut a two and a half inch hole. I deburred it. I'm using the shortest standoffs I can find at this stage. I will probably be able to upload a PDF of the dimensions. Well really upload a PDF template of all this. This is centered left to right, but it's not centered, it's biased away from the front panel. So before you drill a hole, make sure you that the lid, you've assembled the lid, you've marked the rear or the front, but remember this case only fits together one way. If you do all this work and find out you've that it only fits this way, then you'll have to switch the bottom around. Now since there's nothing drilled or fastened to the bottom, you can get away with that. I'll try to get you to see that. Let's see what there we go. It's tracking six, it's using four. Signal strength is 12, 13. Now, when I set it back down, it comes back to life, it's got a heartbeat. Signal strength is 20. So perusing the manual for this little thing, it has an alarm clock feature. You can offset the clock so as to read your local time if you want. It has an alarm function. Uh, time of day alarm. You can handle uh, two thermistors. It can output, I think, four relay contacts. Either, I don't know, in response to the thermistors or, or time based. So it's a pretty good little clock. If you enjoyed the series, Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you like. Thank you.